wanted to show you guys what I've been working on here in the backyard. This little rock that I've come out with a compass and done magnetic north and south. That's what this line of rocks is north and south here. And then I have east and west going. That's that's the east point there. And then west comes over there. And I have this line here. That's what I put at 8 30 every morning in the sunrise. Marking the sunrise. That's not what I'm really showing you right now. What I want to show you is <coughs> And maybe you can help me because I am feeling like a total retard. And let's see if I can get back here so I can show you. Okay. Now I, uh, if I am to stand, I might have to get closer and talk to you. This is what I would call natural north south. Let me tell you. According to my own sense of direction, sorry I can't talk from that far away. I'm going to take the camera off here. Let's see if I can go over here and talk to you. Okay, my own sense of direction. Which has always been pretty good. When we're hiking in the mountains, I can always get us back because I have a natural sense of direction. That's real good. And I can stand anywhere on the front range of Colorado and you get a general that weighs west because you your body looks at the whole range. And it puts you, you in the middle of that and that's west, right? And that's north. I mean that's what it's not that what we <clears throat> it's not that what we learned is wrong, is it? No. That's not it because uh, has is north in a different direction? I mean, have I just missed it? Because here, let me stand. See I'll look at this line. I mean that it's set up with the compass, and I checked on somebody's phone compass app, and it read exactly like the compass I was using, and so this is north, magnetic north and south. And what is it? And somebody says, well, is it true north and south? <laughs> well, if I stand like this, well, for one, it's not going to get me east. Or, I mean, west. It's not going to get me west. It's going to get me northwest. Okay, I got some thoughts about that. You know, like... Like what? Okay, I'm going to take this inside and talk to you some more. Okay, so what I'm thinking about... You know, we see videos of lots of dead animals on the shores, birds, wonder, wondering if the oil's killing them or, or wondering what. Here's what I'm thinking, and just think about this for a sec. second. Um, how do birds migrate? What do they go by? Do they go by magnetic north? You know? Are they flying off into the wrong direction and then getting stuck out in the middle of the ocean not really knowing where to go for land because they went in the totally wrong direction and that's that's just my quick take on that what do you think sniper <laughs> And give me kids. Mm. <laughs> you say hi to the camera. Give him a smile. And giving him a wiggle. <laughs>
Anyway, yeah, so, okay, what happens? Uh, I've tried to talk, not try, but I talk to people about this pole shift thing, right? And they're like, uh... The words pull and shift, you know, the, <clears throat> the way we conceptualize how the truth of that will happen or could happen becomes so inconceivable we can't really understand it. And so then we look at ways that it will become normal. Well, the truth is there is a big major degrees of shift that's happened, right? And so if we're wobbling that much there isn't a consistency to our equator. So therefore, seasons are going to get a little jumbled. Right? I'm not saying this to scare you guys. I'm saying we've got to loosen up and free ourselves from some attachments that are going to keep us in I mean, if the birds could get some sort of information that they're going the wrong way, they would change their direction. They wouldn't just keep flying out into the ocean when they know there's no land. And so we're going to have to change their direction. Because I'm trying to picture what what a rotating earth season wise would do when it's wobbling that much or that going at that much of a tilt I mean that's some animals are going to be wondering what in the heck is going on huh <laughs> sniper <laughs> just a thought something to chew around for a minute huh mm. Thanks for listening, guys. I love you. Ah. <sighs>